हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज द वीडियो नंबर 4 ऑफ फिजिक्स चैप्टर नंबर 3 रिवीजन इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द सम न्यूमेरिकल्स ओके एक्सरसाइज न्यूमेरिकल हमने देखा था uh, एक ऑफ सेल ओके सेल दो कंडीशन में होता है हेल्पिंग कंडीशन ऑपोजिंग कंडीशन वो वाला हमने एग्जांपल देखा था आज एक दूसरा ही हम एग्जांपल देखेंगे न्यूमेरिकल वी विल सी Uh, that is based on western bridge and that is also frequently asked okay uh, in this board exam of 2020 this example was asked so first of all we will see western bridge so what is western bridge see what is western bridge there are four resistance in western bridge you you already know that This is the normal diagram of western bridge R1, R2, R3, R4, battery V. Here current is flowing I1, so again I1, I2, I2. Here there will be galvanometer. Okay, uh, you should know that what is the balance condition of western bridge. So when when the current flowing from this galvanometer is zero when the current flowing from this galvanometer is zero then this western bridge is called in balance condition okay again when the current flowing from this galvanometer is zero then we can say that this western bridge is in balance condition and what is the condition of the uh, balance condition uh, balance condition of the western bridge that is the R1 upon R2 is equals to R3 upon R4. You have already derived this formula in your main theory lectures. Okay. And in Western Bridge, one more important thing is that what is the application? What is the use of Western Bridge? So to find out the unknown resistance from these four resistance, one resistance is unknown. Suppose R1 is unknown. So to find out this value of R1, this Western Bridge is used. Okay. Now, there are total three examples based on Kirchhoff's rule, based on Kirchhoff's second rule, second and first rule. Okay. So those three examples are very much important. We will do one example that is based on this Western bridge also and Kirchhoff's second rule also, and that is the illustration number three point eight. Total there are three examples. Illustration number three point eight. illustration number 3.7 and there is one more example of exercise from this three examples i am covering this illustration number 3.8 3.7 and exercise example you will uh, do by yourself okay so in illustration number 3.8 we are given that there are four resistance uh, as uh, we started so i am making that four resistance connected with battery there is also galvanometer okay now this battery is of 10 volt this battery is of 10 volt and four resistance are as 100 ohm 10 ohm this is the 100 ohm this is 10 ohm 5 ohm and 60 ohm Okay, this galvanometer has resistance 50 ohm. Now we are asked to find out. We are asked to find out the current, the current flow in each branch of this circuit. Okay. Again, we are asked to find out the current flow from each branch of this circuit. Okay. So first we are doing in which branch there will be current flow. So if western bridge is in balanced condition, then In galvanometer, from galvanometer, no current will flow. So here we will check it. R one upon R two and R three upon R four. Here R one upon R two is ten, but R three upon R four is twelve. 
okay so here piston bridge is not in balanced condition so from galvanometer from this galvanometer some current will flow okay so suppose we are making like this uh, current total current i is flowing from this battery of 10 volt from positive terminal so here there is uh, junction so from this junction current is divided into two branches suppose in this branch current i1 is flowing in this branch current i2 is flowing again if i1 is reaching here then again it has junction so suppose here ig current is flowing so here current will flow i1 minus ig okay that is obvious thing if the total current here is i1 if here the current flowing is ig then from here this branch current will flow i1 minus ig okay here the current flowing is i2 again there is the junction at this junction two currents are meeting i2 and ig see at this junction two currents are meeting one is i2 another is ig so in this branch the total current is i2 plus ig at this junction also two currents are uh, meeting okay one is i1 minus ig another is i2 plus ig so that is the i1 plus i2 and actually i1 plus i2 is i so current i is flowing okay so like this you can close the circuit and uh, show the current flowing from each branch okay if some if one student if one student is uh, flowing ig here in upward direction then it is also right there is no problem okay but in that case suppose i am saying like that if one student has taken that this ig is flowing like this this i2 and ig is flowing like this okay then that is also right but in that case ig will be negative here also we don't know okay but if we have taken like this ig and if ig is positive then our direction is true if I, we have taken ig in this direction from upward to downward and we are finding the answer and our answer of ig will positive then our direction is true but if our answer if our answer is wrong so if our answer is negative okay then our direction will be reverse okay so uh, that is the thing now we will solve this example we are asked to find out the current flow from each branch okay each branch means ye sabhi current find karne i i1 i2 ig ye sabhi current humko find karne now see total kitne unknown hai wo pehle nikal lete hain how many unknowns are there i1 i2 ig and i okay there are four unknowns see there are total four unknowns i i1 i2 and ig to get this four unknowns we should have four equations okay from that four equation we have one equation already that is here at this junction uh, take this a b c and d okay so at this junction at this junction a we can say that i is equals to i1 plus i2 i is distributed in two currents i1 and i2 so this is the equation number one this is the simple thing okay so first uh, try the unknown that is the i i1 i2 ig four unknowns for to find out that four unknowns we should have four equation from that four equation we already have one equation that is the i is equals to i1 plus i2 okay we only have one equation so uh, remaining three equations we will find we will make from the each of second rule okay so we will apply each of second rule on the three loops on the three loops any three loops okay so first we are applying applying each of second rule applying each of second rule to a b d a loop okay this is the loop a b d a okay so now write down the equation that is in this direction we are applying in this direction so equation will be like minus 100 i1 then here minus 15 i g and here plus 60 i2 will be zero this is the first equation okay so this is the first equation this is the second 
na pagin applying Kirchhoff's second rule K two R means Kirchhoff's second rule two. Now we will apply B C D B B C D B rule. Okay, so what will be the equation C? Here in this direction we are applying the Kirchhoff's second rule. So first minus ten. I one minus I G, okay. Then here uh, plus five I two plus I G, and then here plus fifty I G is equals to C. Okay, I think you know that if we are in the direction of current, then here there will be negative sign F, and if we are in opposite direction of current, then there will be negative sign. Now solve this equation. Ten, uh, five, and fifteen. Okay, ten, five, and fifteen. So we can say that uh, we can common out the five. So only minus two i one minus two i g plus i two plus i g plus three i g is equals to zero. Like this, there will be equation. Take out the common five. Okay, and remaining things. <coughs> Sorry, uh, remaining things we have written. So the minus two i one only. So there is the minus two i one minus two i g i g and three i g four i g minus two i g. That means plus two i g and plus i two z equals to zero. This is the equation number three. In equation number two, uh, also you can take the common. Okay. So in equation number two, if you take the common, then your answer will be take the common five. So minus twenty i one minus three i g plus twelve i two is equals to zero. This is the equation number two. Now again applying the Kirchhoff second rule. On now uh, suppose we are applying the loop A B C. This is the battery. So it is the A B C E A. Okay. Now applying Kirchhoff second rule A B C E A. So it will like this minus hundred i one. Then Minus ten i one minus i g. Okay. Then here there is battery. From negative to positive we are going. So plus ten is equals to z. Okay. Again uh, take out the common ten. So minus ten i one minus i one plus i g. Plus one is equals to zero. Okay. Uh, so and here see. So by solving this equation, we can write now where we will write. I am writing here. Okay. So there will be minus eleven i one and. Plus i g is equal to minus one. This is the equation number four. In this equation, we have uh, we have made one mistake. Minus minus plus. Okay, so plus two i g i g two three five and six. There will be six i g. Okay, so this is the equation. The all equations equation number one, two, three, four. So now to solve these, to solve these four unknowns, four uh, to make to to get the four unknowns, we have four. Equations. Now we will solve this four equation. How you can solve this four equation? First, write this equation. Equa what is the equation number one? That is the i is equals to i one plus i two. Now see carefully which two equations are look like same. Okay, so we can say that equation two and equation three. These both are look like same. So apply the apply the loop method. Apply the loop method on this equation. E equation number two and three. I am uh, clearing this figure. So what we will get that to apply the loop, okay? Uh, suppose we are doing the loop of uh, i1, i1, ig, ig, i2, i. Uh, suppose we uh, we are applying the loop on i2. Suppose we are applying the loop on i2, then we have to uh, multiply this third equation by 12 and adding into this equation. So what we are doing that uh, minus 20 i1. Minus 3 i g plus 12 i 2. This is the equation number one. 
so I do and equation number three. I am rewriting the equation number three, but by uh, multiplying by twelve. So minus twenty four i one plus seventy two i g and plus twelve i two is equal to zero. Okay, so apply the log. So plus minus minus twelve i two will be cancel. Minus twenty plus twenty four. So four i one. Uh, minus minus so minus seventy five i g is equal to zero. So we can say that seventy five i g is equal to four i one. So we can say that i one is equal to seventy by seventy five by four i g. This is the suppose equation number five. Now what you will do? Put the value of i one. Put the value of i one in this equation number four. So this whole equation will be converted into I G. Okay, see now from equation number four. So we can say that minus eleven I one I one is seventy five by four I G plus I G is equal to minus one. Now solve this equation. You can find out the value of I G. Okay, put this value of I one here. The, the, so you can get the value of I one and put the value of I G and I one in any equation, whether equation number two or equation number three. You can get the value of I two. So this is how you can make, you can solve this example. Okay, this type of example. This is the most likely example. Remember the method. First, try the unknowns. Here there are four unknowns, so we should have the four equations. Okay. First equation is by the job first rule that is the i is equal to i one plus i two. Now we have to make another three equations. So here we have applied the job of second rule to various three loops. Okay, one, two, three. So make the three equations. Now track the two equations that are looking same. So equation number two and three make the loop method to it. Here we have uh, loop the i two. Okay, we have here we have eliminate the i two. Okay, elimination method. So by eliminating the I two, we can get the formula. This I one is equal to something I one. So put this equation number five into four, then we can find the I one. Okay, and put the value of I one here, so we will get I one. Put the value of I one and I one in any of the equation, then you can get the value of I two. Okay. Uh, this type of another two examples are there. One is illustration number seven, and another one is in exercise. So do that both examples from this these three example. Any one examples can be asked in four marks. Okay, in this board exam, this example was asked in four marks. Okay, thank you.